going on? How's everyone doing? Shout out to the Colin. Everybody else who's cool with Colin. Chucky! I didn't say. Eat your popcorn. <laughs> and your Coca-Cola and relax. <laughs> anyway, tell Colin. I'm rich. What's going on? This is Colin. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a good day. All right. I've got a good one for you. Judge Washington. Yeah. This defendant decides to turn a dismissal into a very close contempt. He doesn't get charged with contempt, but it's a good one. You got to check it out. I also got a bonus Judge Simpson at the end of this because both these clips are only about three minutes long. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before I hit that play button, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, do your jump kick backflips. Let's go. Ypsilanti Township versus Malik McCullough, 23T00773. Paul Burnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Sandra White on behalf of Malik McCullough. Please state your name, Mr. McCullough. Malik McCullough. Thank you. We're here for final settlement conference today. That's correct, Your Honor. At this time, the township is not able to proceed. Defense will make a motion to dismiss. All right, given that the people are unable to proceed, Mr. McCullough, the matter is now dismissed. This is without prejudice, meaning that if they were to proceed later, they could reauthorize it. Do you understand that, sir? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Stop scamming people. Sorry, what? He says, stop scamming people. <laughs> Miss McDuffie. Miss McDuffie for the win. <laughs> She's always listening. She is always listening. It wasn't even her case. I'm just trying to help. I want to make sure the court has complete information, Your Honor. Mr. McCullough. He's still here. It's like you, you just yes. made, your client is still here. First of all, he's not responding to me. And secondly, he just made a very derogatory I statement. I am here. I am here, still here. What did you say, Mr. McCullough? I said, y'all stop scamming people. Who's scamming someone that you're talking about, sir? That ticket I just paid off. M Mr. McCullough, do you want to be held? You heard it. You guys heard it. The ticket is scamming him. The ticket is scamming him. Go watch out for those pieces of paper, man. They will scam you if you're not too careful. In contempt of court today? No, uh, for what? For being disrespectful to the court. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, court. Mr. McCullough, it's in your best interest to leave. We done? Mr. We don't have to be done. And if we're not, it's not going to be in your best interest. I got the money. Did y'all got the money I paid, all right? Can you tell me that? That zero, the zero balance I got on that ticket that you was talking about the last time? Mr. McCullough. Um, in just one second, I'm going to retract my dismissal of this case and have you come in for a contempt proceeding. Do you want that? No, I don't want that. I just I just asked a question about if y'all got the, the, the fee the that was. <clears throat> Ms. McCall, is my advice that you leave the court now. Are we done? Okay. No more court dates. The case has been dismissed. All right. Peace. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, no, 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 Miss White. You have nothing to apologize for. That is purely the defendant. That's not your fault. And uh, yeah, if your case is dismissed and you've already paid on some fines and costs, yeah, you can probably get that money back. You might have to fill out a piece of paper. Yeah, you're going to get that money back if it was dismissed. And this was. Uh, all right. I kept this uh, little silence in here just because you can... Judge Washington wanted to find a reason to hold him in contempt. She really did. And you you can hear it in this in this silence. 
Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. She was writing notes on that guy's file for sure. All right, next one is a quick one from Judge Simpson. This guy, man. <laughs> this guy. Uh, I don't know if this is sad or funny. You guys let me know in the comments. Let's go. Case people versus Bobby Breach. Beach. Morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perry on behalf of Mr. Beach, who is approaching. Oh, he's approaching. No, he's a member of the prosecutor's office now. Look, he's behind the prosecutor's table. You, you can see him. He's sitting there, you know, like, oh, uh, this isn't what approaching means. Look at uh, Buffalo is on his way. He was on that quick. Look at him jump up. He's like, no, 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 no. Good job, Buffalo. State your name, please. Yes, Bobby Beach. Your Honor, we're requesting an adjournment. Mr. Beach, I'm providing Mr. Beach a copy with discovery today. Um, he wants to review it all before next. Before I adjourn it, Mr. Beach, you had any controlled substance today? Um, Mr. No. Allen? No. You had nothing. So if I give you a test, you'll come back clean. Um, well, this card right here tells me at your community corrections that I can smoke marijuana and I paid money for it. State of Michigan, say right here, regulatory cannabis. I paid money, taxes. I should be able to medicate. I just had lower back surgery two years ago, St. Joe Hospital. They say either use prescription drugs or use what the state of Michigan provides you, the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. That made no sense. He didn't ask you if we had a medical marijuana card. He asked you if you were under any controlled substances. Oh, oh, this guy. Would that be the only thing that would show up in your system? That's it, yeah. I know. I'm going to pass the matter. I'm going to let him go on his own, take a test, come back, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do. Despite your ability to use marijuana on that card, you can't be under the influence when you come into court. You understand that? Yeah, I'm not. No, I just woke up. I'm not. No. Oh, you just woke up? Yeah, That's why you didn't know where to go in the courtroom? Yeah, I just had a yeah, daughter. Okay. No, I got you. I've been babysitting. Okay, this yeah. I okay I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm going to trust you to go over on your own. Let's see what the test is. I'm not smoking come, coming on court, young. Really? Yeah. I'm okay. Not. All right. I'm very okay. hearing. Okay. I'm All right. Sick. Then you probably ought to stop talking and go take your test. All right. All right. Yeah, that way. Uh, the legal effect, the, no, the medical effects of legal marijuana, everybody. All right. You guys have a great afternoon. I am going to let this play out. Judge Simpson still has a couple funny little quirks that he's going to drop in. I, I will. I'm also looking for the follow up to this. So I will post that when it happens. All right. Until next time. Bye. You better. Yeah. Get an order over to him. Just, uh, one time. Uh, Mr. Feaster, tell Miss Perrini you better point the way because he's going to get lost. <laughs> one time, just yeah, just one time here. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> and whispered in my ear, "What would he smoking?" Cork. <laughs> no, you didn't say that. I know you did not say that. You didn't say that. That just came out of my mouth. I didn't mean that. Court calls the case. People versus Ronald Fleming. <laughs> <laughs>